Did y'all enjoy the show? Oh, I love it. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Was, you like it? I, I did. love it. Any character like stand out to you the most? Yeah. Any, 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 what, 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 yeah. uh, the guy, the young guy, the, the, the doctor? The doctor, yeah. No, the, no, the, <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was very, very, I mean, uh -huh. very good actor. I thought it was excellent. All right. Thank you, sir. Very good. Very good. And you, ma'am? I thought it was spectacular. I want to come back on Saturday. <laughs> this is Brother North Star. I'm sitting here on the set uh, down at the uh, theater, for, uh, theater for the New City and uh, on the set of the play, Ugly is a uh, Hard Pill. And I'm sitting here with the writer of this play, uh, Andrea J. Fulton. And I said that with your name, Andrea J. Fulton, because, as you were saying, there was... <laughs> There's another um, person with the same name uh, that's in the arts as well, that's in California. Um, so I always use the J to distinguish. And what does the J mean? Joy. <laughs> jo oh, wow. Andrea Joy Fulton. So, Andrea Joy Fulton. First question I have for you is that uh, ugly is a hard pill. What is the operative word on that statement? Well, ugly. <laughs> um, and it, it's so uh, funny. Uh, how would you say it? Well, uh, ugly is a hard pill. You know. Ugly is a hard pill. Ugly is a hard pill. Ugly is a hard pill. That's what I'm going to How is the statement? Well, I, I, I would just simply say um, ugly, okay. it's a hard pill. <laughs> Ugly is a hard pill. Okay, that's what we got. All right, so um, what is the message that you would like to convey when you were writing Ugly is a hard pill? Well, you know, um, what I realized is that um, it's sort of a cultural thing when you talk about um, ugly not in terms of um, whether somebody is, is, is um, pretty or not. Uh, it's not a physical beauty, it's, it's really about ugly ways. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I wanted to um, do something to explain that being ugly is, is not the way to be, and, and that there are consequences mm -hmm. for being ugly. So um, that, that's really kind of what it's all about. So it is the antonym to the old saying, beauty is only seen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ugly is a hard pill. It's the reverse of beauty's only skin deep. All right, so uh, you just explained that, and, that, and, and um, I think people will get, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What should the audience get when they leave from seeing this play? You know, what, uh, what, they should, what, what should they be feeling? Well, um, I, I wanted to, um, when, I, when I set out to do this play, I was really trying to be ambitious. And um, I really wanted them to walk away with a lot. Um, so I, I wanted them really to walk away with um, an open and an accepting uh, heart, uh, uh, an understanding heart, and um, one that is, is really kind of in a different place mm -hmm. than it was when they first entered the theater. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I, I deal with some topics that are a little bit controversial mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah. it just causes people to think a little bit and uh, to laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. And I thought that when people could uh, laugh, see something on stage where they could kind of almost like laugh at themselves, laugh at themselves. Um, mm -hmm. then they would be able to deal with some bigger mm -hmm. issues in a different kind of way. It is true. We live in a very xenophobic world. And uh, laughter is the medicine for that. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take a station break and we're going to come right back. And we got one more question for you, Andrea, so you don't have to go nowhere. And then we're going to have uh, the director and the, the star of the play come on and we get them too. We'll be right back. Excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent. And it was you fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. And you, Mr. Yeah. Right. It was wonderful. Uh -huh. It was amazing. He is amazing. <laughs> very good. I enjoyed it. And you, ma'am? <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you just say for the camera what you thought of the play? It was very hilarious. <laughs> and you? Brother North Star, and we're back at um, Theater for a New City, and I'm sitting here on the set of Ugly is a Hard Pill, and I'm talking to Andrea Joy Fulton, who is the uh, author of this play. And um, so, You've been writing a while? Yeah, I actually I've been I've been writing since I was eight. Okay. I've been, I've been writing. Um, I've been writing poetry, songs, um, now in recent years plays. Mm -hmm. but, but I've been writing for a long time. And you, time. you hail from Chicago. That's right. And did you, did you do any work in Chicago? Uh, I didn't do any plays in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been here in New York City now uh, almost 30 years. Um, but, um, but yeah, I did some I, I had some things published uh, when I was young, uh, poetry and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, again, I've been writing songs for a very long time. It's just Are they published as well? Yes. So what would you say your main following is in? The, the, the poetry, the song, or the theater? Um, I hope it's the theater right mm -hmm. now, um, just because I'm having so much fun. And I, I hopefully this right now is, is a way that I'm able to impact a lot of people's lives. and. And also um, give some deserving actors some work. I really, 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 really get a kick out of being a part of people's careers mm -hmm. and um, doing my little part to uh, advance their careers. I really, really proud of that. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. And um, uh, what other works do you have? Did you do you have out? What is the your resume in the theater? Mm -hmm. um, People, hopefully, uh, some people will know uh, I did this play, One Drop, um, and that was a, a full-scale piece. Uh, it was a period piece mm -hmm. that focused on um, some of 1800s, life in the 1800s in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, For African-Americans? And it's so interesting you say that mm -hmm. um, because it actually is, is about a mulatto mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that's um, part of my family history. Okay. So um, it, like this, um, succeeds in, in kind of crossing over and, and uh, affecting a lot of people. Mm -hmm. okay. And a lot of people are able to relate to it. Mm -hmm. Any other work? Um, yes, I've, I've also done some short, a couple of short plays. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also in the process of uh, writing three plays right now. Okay, what is the name of the short play? Very quickly. Uh -huh. um, one, which uh, is a 10 minute play, is called You Don't Know, You Just Don't Know. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is about um, stereotypes mm -hmm. and how we tend to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, and again, I'm working on three other plays right now. Which All right, she won't discuss that, but suffice <laughs> it to say that she's writing uh, social commentary, trying to humanize us more, our society, our, our civilization, and make us more sensitive to one another. We gotta take a break and we, we'll be right back with uh, the director, we'll speak to the director, and we'll look inside of her. Right back. Yeah. You just like look, you like that like you enjoyed the play, sir? Yeah. It was excellent. Especially <laughs> you, man. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. It's great. Huh? It's very good. All right, what did you like about it? Well, he was great. <laughs> I think it was uh, very entertaining, informative, and... Informative. Well acted cast. Oh, wow. Good wow. We are back. City for, uh, we are at the theater for a new city on the, on the stage set of Ugly is a Hard Pill. And I'm sitting here with the director of uh, this play, Leslie Dockery. Did yes. I say your name? Yes, right? we did. Okay. If and we did free doc. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly is a Hard Pill. Talk about that a little bit. Ugly is a Hard Pill. You know it's a hard pill. Uh, it's simply exactly what it says, ugly is a hard pill. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you take a lot of ugly pills. Mm -hmm. So I think it's us trying to be aware of when we're doing these things. I think we take ugly pills and don't even know that we're doing it. Mm -hmm. So I think that we're trying to bring to light and, and be more specific about it. 
in this way. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody, everybody can get ugly, right? Okay. Everybody, can, everybody can get ugly. They, they don't, but they can choose to not take that pill. Yes, you can choose to take not take that pill. I think the character, one of the characters in the show, Evil Miss, I think that he's like, um, I think he's the good side of you and the bad side of you. I think he sees when people are taking ugly pills. I think that he expects when people to take ugly pills. But I think that what he finds is, is different ways not to take that ugly pill or to see that, oh, well maybe if people uh, took more care of themselves and people, uh, you reap what you sow. So he has these words of wisdom mm -hmm. that goes, if you don't take that pill, mm -hmm. then you can have a, a more positive outcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's good. A considerable, amount of, uh, a considerable amount of reprogramming ourselves not to take that other yes. pill. So that leads to the next question is, why should people come out to see this play? So you stop taking ugly pills. No. <laughs> I think so you stop taking the they don't ugly pills. Hey, don't take that pill. Don't take that ugly pill. You know you can get ugly when you take it. Okay. I think yeah. that one of the reasons is because it's so diverse. Mm -hmm. There's so many types. It's not a black play. It's uh, not a white play. Yeah, it's yeah. not a straight play. It's mm -hmm. not a gay play. It's, mm -hmm. it's a people's play. Right, right. It's a people's feeling. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're going to come and see something about people, mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone can relate to this, mm -hmm. except for children. It's not a children. Mm -hmm. It's not a play for young mm -hmm. children. Yes, yes, it's yes. an adult play. Mm -hmm. So I find it very interesting that we see, I mean, New York City, I mean, just the world in general is so diverse. Mm -hmm. So you get to see all of this on this on little teeny tiny set. Mm -hmm. You get to see all these different types of people. Wonderful. We are going to take a break. We're going to be right back and we want to look, at, uh, take a, a closer look at Leslie and some of her past works and what she's done. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Your character in the play? Um, Lena, I play Lena in the play. Mm -hmm. And now Lena, you came into a transformation. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Out of your ugly. Yes. Um, your character, what do you think was the cause? What was the beginning programming that had you ugly to begin with? I think that she was just very self-indulgent, you know, as far as like who she was and what she needed. And she was really reckless and careless about her health. I mean, in the beginning you saw that we wanted to definitely make the audience understand the promises of like eating, eating salt and sugar and those chips and, we, and like, the candy and the drink drinking alcohol, you know, mm -hmm. and so just really showing and consistently doing it, mm -hmm. right, to, get to show the reckless lifestyle, yeah. lifestyle is what in the her in that position. And this was the this was the epitome of the play ugly. Yes. That actually became beautiful yeah. in the end, saw beauty in the end. I mean, and it was celebrated at the end. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, he says that phrase, "God don't like ugly," you know. And so the beauty of God is that, you know, what she says, you know, you can't fight ugly, you know, with fire and persevere. So in the end, you know, you know, we persevere, you know. And then, you know, even when it talks about taking better care of ourselves, and that's really the message in the play is to take better care of ourselves and to just accept people for who they are, however mm -hmm. they are. And, and that was a wonderful way that they did that. A, a, a message of acceptance, of love, of cause and effect, of consciousness, all of that was in it. You've got to come out and see this. Yeah. You've got to come out and see this. And we are back. I'm Brother North Star. I'm sitting uh, in a theater for the New City on the stage set of Ugly is a Hard Pill. And uh, we are sitting here with Leslie Dockery, uh, the director of this play. And uh, we want to take a closer look at you now. Um, how long have you been directing? I've been directing, I feel like I've been directing since I was a little girl. Um, I've been doing this since I was very, very young. Mm. So I've always kind of did anything that I can in the business, direct, choreograph, uh, perform. Mm -hmm. So, um, but in the last last five years, I've been more concentrated on directing. Now, when you say perform, 
that, 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 that includes you, you sing and dance too? I sing, grade? I dance, I've done, I know, I know, I know, I know real singer, my friends out there will be laughing at this moment. <laughs> However, <laughs> yes, I have sang, I've done like America High School, those shows. Oh, no, performing. Are you sang in them? Yes, actually I did. Well, I don't say, listen, but, but somebody thought would, you was a singer. I wouldn't call myself a singer singer. Oh, I'm well, a character I, you, singer. You know what? I, I say the same thing. Right. I say the same thing. I can right. carry, I have a nice voice. Right. I can carry, I can sing in key, I can sing in right. note, and I can sell the song. Sell the song. I That's can sell what the I can song. do. I can yeah, do yeah. that. Well, you're singing. That's a singer. No, okay. you're not a singer singer. I'm yeah. not a singer singer. Yeah. So we understand. We gotta we gotta we gotta define those things. I wanna be very clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you got some people out there, they're, no, they're they're singing, they're singing. Singing. They're singing. Right. And, and then there's just singing. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. So we and got character. And, and character. I, I do a lot of character roles. All right. So now you're focused more on directing. What have you directed <coughs> lately? Where is your directing? Um, I just finished doing um, Queen Esther and the Hall of Gospel Singers mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. and I just finished directing. I'm also getting to do- What part of you? Uh, I was in Germany. Okay. Mm -hmm. Germany, Switzerland. It was in English or in Germany? German? No, it's in it's English. English. It's a gospel show. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the gospel in Germany. <laughs> gospel, baby, and they that love it. They that. absolutely- yeah, The Germans love it. Oh, no. It's, it's amazing mm -hmm. how we touch these mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it floors me every time. I've been doing it for about um, 15 years or so, uh, yeah. you know, every year, uh, over. Uh, Very big show, a mm -hmm. uh, huge show. Yeah. Um, they, so, they so appreciate mm -hmm. uh, American talent over there. Yeah. So. That's why Josephine Baker went over there. That was I got it. Kid. I got it. No, really. You, you, jazz. Yeah, jazz. They, they appreciate mm -hmm. the arts yeah. tremendously. And of course, mm -hmm. it's, it's an old, old country. Mm -hmm. We're a baby compared to, right, right, yeah. to Europeans. Um, so, what other productions do you do? Um, right now, I'm getting ready to direct um, uh, a show called um, Matroska. Uh, uh, of a young Russian girl and mm -hmm. her journey to get to Broadway. Mm -hmm. So that's my next project, and then I'm doing another project. Oh my, you got um, it right. Got uh, her ducks lined up in a row. Kind of, kind of, thank God, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Feast or famine, right? Mm -hmm. right, right? Right now, I'm feast, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, with uh, Bishop Townsley, mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing a project up at, um, get the name of the college. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I am happy to know that you are busy. Thank and, uh, you. Because a lot of people don't know. Because you know, you, your directing is no bit greater than your last. You got that right, yeah, honey. Your don't last I know. job. That's you know, right. so you keep it rolling on. Yes. And uh, we're going to come back, and uh, we're going to get some clips of the, the rehearsal. And we're okay. going to get some uh, clips of the play itself okay. on the hottest night. You know, All right. Night. Check and with me we, first. And then we're going to talk to you again. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to talk to you again. So excellent. we'll be right back, and then we're going to come back with one of the principal characters in the play, my buddy, Jerome Andre. We'll be right back. My name is Ilona Dixon, and I play Mars Way. I play Nina's, I play Nina's lover, naive lover, actually. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. I have a wonderful time. It's just great. I thank you guys so much for well, supporting you. us. Oh, uh, well, y'all were great. Y'all got that message across. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm Kim Bolander, and I play Demon. <laughs> so you play I'm the Demon. Demon. <laughs> I'm the gay best friend. Demon. I'm the gay best friend. <laughs> <laughs> of Keith. You lit up the stage. You lit up the stage. Thank you very fun. much. I had fun. You look like you were having fun out there. Yeah. Tell, us your, tell us about your character. Tell us about your character. Well, my character uh, likes to pick up ice. Uh, more teasing fights, though. He likes to have like with Lena, with his best buddy Keith. He likes to tease him. He's a pretty sweet guy, but sometimes he's a little bitchy. Mm -hmm. Why should people come out and see this play? <laughs> because it's funny, 
I think it addresses some really uh, some important issues about um, uh, coming to terms with your own sexuality and about and about health issues too, including uh, like how we eat. You know, it's our choice. We get to choose how we so eat. it is very informative. That's the key word. Is it? It's very informative. Yeah, and hopefully we entertain people along the way. So we are back. I am Brother North Star, and uh, we are in the uh, theater for uh, New City, and uh, we're on the stage set of Ugly is a Hard Pill, and I am sitting here talking with uh, my friend, uh, actor, singer, dancer? No dancer, singer, recording artist. <laughs> recording artist, <laughs> uh, Jerome Andre, and Jerome Andre is one of the principal characters uh, in this play. And so, uh, Jerome, ugly is a hard pill. Oh my God, ugly is really a hard pill. And, and, and we know, sometimes anybody too. know you know you can get ugly. Oh my God. We we all can get ugly. I'm yes, we can. Yes. We all can get yes. ugly. But well, how do you decide you don't want to take that pill? What is, what is, do you have a method to say you know? Well, I breathe and I pray. And you do some running. And I look, yeah, I run every day, actually. Mm -hmm. So that, that kind of calms <laughs> the central nervous system. Keeps me calm. Yeah. <laughs> Getting that oxygen to yes, the central yes, nervous yes. system yes. Is, is, a, is another way of calming that, the, uh, not taking that pill. Yes, you know. yes, yes. Um, breathing, breathing, yes. And reading. And reading. Good plays. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about uh, your character. I am evilness. I, first of all, I must say I'm happy to be a part of the production. Mm -hmm. uh, this Andrea Fulton has wrote a wonderful piece. It's mm -hmm. been directed by this fabulous director, co-directed by uh, Gabby and directed by uh, Miss Leslie Dockery. Mm -hmm. um, this is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, you know, I come from um, mm -hmm. um, the recording industry. Yeah, yeah. So this is my first piece in seven years, theater mm -hmm. piece in seven years. Mm -hmm. And when I read this, uh, first I saw the reading and I was really just enchanted by her writing mm -hmm. and what she was saying. And she had this character, it wasn't even a character, it was like this person, evilness comes and bounces a ball. Mm -hmm. And I, I just thought it could be something really, really special. Mm -hmm. So that night at the reading, I inquired, I said, are you all looking for an evilness? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we're not sure yet. Mm -hmm. But I got the call and I'm so grateful because um, this play is really, it, it, it touches me. Sometimes I'm crying, sometimes I'm laughing. Uh, it tells a story, uh, tells a story about lives, different individuals, diversity, mm -hmm. um, love, uh, selfishness. Acceptance. Acceptance, acceptance. yes, de yes definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, even this kind of makes all these things happen. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see that he's the author of many things. Mm -hmm. But also, there's another side of evilness as well. He sees a uh, hope. Wait a minute now. Evilness, yes. evilness is, is the... Uh, the character's name. I know, I know, but evil, evilness is, 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 the, is the culprit. It, the evilness sets up these situations, yeah, but the we, learning situations. Yes, yeah, sometimes he sets them up, but actually they're doing it themselves. Mm -hmm. He's here watching. He's a ghost. Mm -hmm, okay. he's, uh, to me, he's a ghost. He's come back to see and observe. Uh, now, is this a speaking room? Uh, sometimes. sometimes. I'm allowed to speak sometimes. Okay, but that's interesting. Yes. I've, I've acted in a play, actually, and was in it on stage all the time, and I did not speak. Do you know what that, do you know how much acting you have to do? Yes, you yes, know, that, yes. And when yes. you don't have a speaking role, you've got to still be transmitting. Yes. How, you know, and so how is that for you? Well, I mean, you know what I found? Someone that likes to speak. <laughs> I, I find it to be uh, a challenge, uh -huh. and also I find it to be, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a growing thing for me. I mm -hmm. think I've grown tremendously. You will, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, this at first wasn't saying anything. Mm -hmm. He was just bouncing a little ball. Mm -hmm. And as we rehearsed, this had a word here, mm -hmm. a word there. So when you see the show, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see that he says certain things, but he says smart things. Okay. He says things that'll make you think. Let me take a moment right here. We're going to take a moment, uh, station break, and uh, we're going to come right back, and we're going to look into the resume oh. of Jerome Andre. He, 
he, he fancies himself as a recording artist, which he has some recordings out there, but he has more theater. Man. He has more theater man, that he's ready to let on. We're going to dig that out. We'll be right back. In your character. <laughs> my name is Alan Harris, and my character is going to be. Oh, oh, oh! That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Only one with three balls. The man with okay, three. with three balls. Okay. Three, three testicles is the clinical uh, name. <laughs> <one. laughs> and this is your brother. This is my brother here. Donnell Smith uh, played the role of Kate. Uh huh. And Denise Fair Grant, I played the spiritual advisor, coach. Y'all want to recognize me my afro. <laughs> uh, this is pretty nonetheless. Oh, definitely. Conscious. The, conscious, uh, the consciousness of the play. You know. Um, what am I going to call this man here? The, uh, the comedian. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Somehow you, um, your character kind of brought everything to a climax. Uh, yeah, your character kind of brought the transformations about for, for most people, you know, yeah. and, and, and you were the judge. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, I raised him. I, I, I raised him. I raised him from scratch, okay? Uh -huh. And the only reason why he became successful is because his daddy kept him out of jail, okay? <laughs> and he didn't want to go to jail either. So he did the right thing. He went to college, got an education, and became a doctor, mm -hmm. and very successful. Very successful. And this, and this, uh, I just noticed that French guys get the girls. <laughs> Your name and the character you play? Uh, my name is Mark Lane. The character was John. I called him Jean. Mm -hmm. he was, you know. And uh, I don't usually get the girl. But this time I got the girl. I got the girl's girlfriend. I got the girl's <laughs> My name is Burgess Lunsford, and uh, you know, um, I was born in New York, I was raised in the South, you know, I'm African American, and um, I play the character Delroy, you know. So, what y'all say is style, you know what I mean? The bumba clock, I come over and I bumba. You can't deal with my people, you know. Yeah, for real, them things them quiet, you know. Yeah, them yeah. things they quiet, I come up there and I yeah. rock. You want to rock with me? Yeah. <laughs> you, you angry. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, brother North Star sitting here at the theater for the new city on the stage of Ugly is a Hard Pill. This is the cast and crew, all members here, and we're all here to say hi to you, and you must come out and see this play. You see the stage setting, you see the beautiful actors and actresses and the crew members and everything. Why is ugly a hard pill? Ugly is a hard pill. Ugly is a hard pill. Ugly is a hard pill.